mistake rather than a misdeed through the weakness of flesh. Yeah. Overtaken in seduction by the, the devil and of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Those that are overtaken, they, they need to be restored. Yeah. Yeah. Not ignored, not excused, uh -huh. <laughs> not overlooked, well. not destroyed, uh. not ostracized, not casted out, but restored. When one of my fellow brothers or sisters in Christ needs correction, reproof, or encouragement, we should humbly reach out to help restore them. Yeah. Not reject them again, but, but, but to restore them. Yeah. Restore or restoration is defined as an act of restoring or the condition of being restored. Uh -huh. It means a bringing back to a former position or condition. It means reinstatement or restitution. It means a restoring to an unimpaired or improved condition. Those that are overtaken, they need to be put back into their former condition. Yeah. Restoration is the balance between pretending the sin never happened and reacting too harshly towards that one who sinned. Yeah. You see, when we become aware of someone that, that has been overtaken, we, we, we do one of two things. Either we act like we don't see it and don't know and we turn the blind eye to it, yeah. or we, we act too harshly and we want to kick them out and uh -huh. condemn them to hell. Uh -huh. All right? But restoration is the bridge between uh, ignoring the sin and turning the blind eye and then reacting too harshly uh, to those that have. They need to be restored. Uh, restoration must always be done in a spirit of gentleness. Yeah. The one doing the restoring must not be tempted by pride or tempted by the same temptation as the one overtaken is struggling with. Mm -hmm. So if you're struggling with the same thing that someone else is over struggling with, perhaps you shouldn't be the one to restore. Right. Well. Because if that's your weakness, your vice, then you may end up falling into the same situation as they are. Uh -huh. People who are, need restoration, they have to be willing to receive restoration. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes we can be, put, uh, be defensive and we don't want to receive the correction. We don't want to receive the, the restoration because of the spirit of pride. Yeah. But if it's done in a spirit of gentleness, we should be receptive of being restored. Because at the end of the day, if someone loves you enough to even want to restore you, Come on. you should embrace that type of love. Amen. Because love don't look like when you know folk is in stuff that they have no business <laughs> being in and you just turn a blind eye. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, that's just how they do. That's just them. You don't want to understand. We learn to adjust. No, no, no. When folks' souls are at stake, there is no adjustment. No adjustment. You need to get yourself in order. You need to get right because yeah. Jesus is soon to return. Yeah. Yeah. And so we don't, we're not showing love or not, at least not agape love when we are aware that folks are in a condition and we ignore that condition that they're in. Yeah. But real love is when you care about the condition of their soul and when they're going to spend eternity that you try to restore them in a spirit of gentleness. The one doing the restoring must not be tempted by the same issue. And so we have to use wisdom on how we even approach the restoration process. Yeah. Restoring in gentleness does not include aggravating or scolding or condemning the person overtaken in the fault, but rather lifting them up yeah. and gently restoring their faith. You see, we've all slipped at one time or oh, another. Yeah. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Donnie McClurkin sang a song that we fall down. Or in other words, we slip. <laughs> but, but the difference between a saint and a sinner is a, is a saint gets back up after slipping and fall. But a sinner will stay down in yeah. that sinful condition. Yeah. We can tell uh, who are religious from those who have a genuine relationship with Jesus and fully understand what Christianity is all about simply by how we entreat those that have sinned. Yeah. 
You see, religious folk ah. will, will, will cast you out uh -huh. and condemn you to hell. Yeah, all right, but, but, but those who understand uh, what Christianity is all about, well, in, in spite of your condition, they still try to restore you and still try to, to, to love on you yeah. until you are back into your rightful condition. We all should, should look to bear one another's burdens uh -huh. and not expect to have our burdens more. So when we expect our burdens to be more, we are, are being self-focused. Uh -huh. uh, we we want to see what, what you can do for me. Will you help me <laughs> out and do this for me? That's being self-focused. Well. But, 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 but we're not, we, and when you're self-focused, you're operating again in the spirit of pride. Yeah. But we should be others-focused. Uh -huh. We should be looking to bear one another's burdens rather than have our burdens being more. Okay. Every single one of us has some burdens uh -huh. that we are carrying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we may have different amount of burdens or different types of burdens, but we all, right. all are carrying burdens. Yeah. Yeah. And God has never meant for us to carry those burdens alone. That's why in the body of Christ we're supposed to be helpers of one another. Preach. Yeah. That when we see people uh, carrying burdens, that, that if we got an a, 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 a empty hand, uh -huh. then we should go to help bear that up. Yes. Matthew 11, 28 through 30 says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yes. Take my yoke upon you and live or learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is, is light. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's one thing when, when the burden is heavy, and you carry that thing around. <laughs> well, it's another thing when it's light. Uh -huh. When it's light, it's seamless. Preach. It doesn't slow you down. It doesn't uh, uh, it, it prohibit your, your, your forward moving progress. Preach. But when something is heavy, too heavy for you to bear, uh -huh. you can't even walk in an upright position. Freak. You, you walk bended over. Uh -huh. You start suffering physical pain. You got back pains and Freak. aches. And you get hernias and whatnot. You, <laughs> and, 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 and you can't move forward. Freak. So you end up being a, a, a stagnant place. When we bear one another's burdens, we are fulfilling the law of Christ. Preach. Yeah. Why don't you tell somebody, don't, don't, don't be a burden, <laughs> but help bear the burden. You see, you, you, you're supposed to be helping me bear the burden, but you're part of the problem because you are the burden I'm carrying. And so we have to help bear the burden and not be the burden. It is pride that, that prevents us from being one another's burdens and fulfilling the law of Christ. Yes. It is often pride that keeps us from, from ministering to one another as we should. Uh -huh. See, when you're self-focused, you believe that, that you are better than the next person. Preach, yeah. preach. When you're self-focused, you, you believe that, that you're more important than the next person. Preach. Yeah. And that you're more deserving than the next person. Preach. But when you're others focused, you believe that, that you're better than you're you're not, you're no better than the next person. Uh -huh. Preach. That you're no more important than the next person. Preach. And that you're no more deserving than the next person. But we must also understand that pride, it, it, it works both ways. Yes, it does. You see, pride can keep folks from, from helping others carry their burden. Preach. And then pride can, can keep folks from accepting the help. <laughs> Preach. From others to carry their burden. Preach. We know you need help. You know you need help. But because pride got in the way, you don't want to accept the help. Preach. Nah, I'm straight. I got it. I'm okay. Uh, 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 Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles can say that you're not okay. And Preach. The words that you're carrying are having a profound effect on you. And the sooner you deliver from the spirit of pride and you allow someone who's willing to help you help you. You can be lifted and alleviated from carrying those those burdens. Yes. Pride can, can do that to us. And so we have to be careful that we don't allow pride to, to set in. Mm -hmm. 
We should never think that we are totally independent and don't need help from others. 